Hey guys, it's Khalif from Fat Guy Skinny Wallet, and I'm here with my second weigh-in of my second year. Um, so, just getting right to the numbers, because I know a lot of y'all probably just want to click off after this. But last week, I was 200 and... 236.2, and this week, I was 236.2. So, um, there is some frustration involved with that number, but it's all on me. Um... I got down to 234, I think it was 234.2 or maybe 234 even. I saw that number on the scale this week and I had a horrible weekend. If you remember from my last video, my last weigh-in, I told you guys that I was trying to get back on my normal routine of going to bed early, waking up at 4.30 in the morning, um, having devotion, praying, reading the Bible, and then working out afterwards. Um, so that when I come home, you know, my workout's already done, and I've already done those other things that are very important. Haven't, I, I tried this week, and during the week it was okay. It didn't happen Wednesday, my car overheated, and yeah, some things happened with that. But, um, some of the other days it went well, but then the weekend came. Friday, I was out, I think we got home like 3.30 in the morning. And it was Saturday morning. Then I had to wake up on Saturday, work out, and I had to go get my hair cut. Then I had to prepare a lesson for Sunday that I was teaching. And um, I was up. I didn't go to bed till little after 4 o'clock Sunday morning. So um, definitely couldn't really get up and get back into that routine. Um, even Sunday night, I was up late. And then uh, last night, I was up until after 11 as well. So yeah, it's, it's been rough trying to trying to get back into that schedule where I'm waking up early, or I'm going to bed early. Still trying to force myself to wake up early, and I've been waking up to read the Bible every day. It's just I haven't had enough time to do it and work out. And to me, reading the Bible and praying is more important, um, you know, than, than getting the workouts in in the morning. Um, I've been working so hard on my business, I've still been trying to catch up, trying to catch up from Sandy. Um, hitting us and taking out our power and taking out our internet and I'm just trying to catch up because I've been playing catch up for the last two years So, you know, just have a lot going on then of course being in Florida You know a lot a lot of things going on now that I'm trying to catch up on but anyway, um, I saw 234 and There was some some bad eating over the weekend and um, Lack of sleep and wasn't able to work out all week. So that's that's what happened um not much else to say about that. I am almost done putting together my, my weight training routine. I haven't even had time to really finish up. I know what I'm going to do, but now I have to go and establish weights. You know, that's where I'm at now. I just have to go do each exercise. Um, I already have the schedule down and everything. I'll show you guys what I'm doing once I get everything in place. I just have to establish what my beginning weight is going to be for each um, move and in what order I should do them in considering the weight because I have those adjustable dumbbells so just to make the workout more efficient you know if I'm if there's three different uh, things that I'm doing in one routine that's a that's all the same weight then I want to do those kinda in a row if it makes sense um, with my body rather than you know skipping and keep changing the weights over and over and losing my momentum that I'm doing so yeah once I get it together I'll show that to you guys um, so it's that. There's my eating. I was tracking food. It's still kind of hard to track because I don't. We don't eat a lot of packaged food. You know, it's not like we're eating TV dinners or we. You know, there's a lot of things that we eat where my wife is just making stuff. You know, using weird flours and stuff like almond flour and oat flour and stuff like that. So um, you know, it's a little harder to, to just get those things in and track them. It's a little more work involved. So anyway. We're just trying to do all that and um, try to make sure I don't leave anything out because uh, I don't want to make this video over if I don't have to. So I'm guessing that's it. I talked about my, my rest. I'm still going to just try to go to sleep early tonight. I'm going to try to go to bed early and wake up early and start my routine off that way. I will say I'm not... Um, okay, this is what i tell you for now. Uh, Julie and I, you all should know Julie Wilson by now, um, but we have, 
um, challenged ourselves, kind of an informal challenge this week. I'm not going to tell you what the stakes are, but it's just for one week. Who loses the biggest percentage of weight during this week? She got down 161 pounds. I'm so proud of her for that. And she really wanted to get into the 150s. So she's been pushing really hard and I'm trying to push her. So I said, hey, let's challenge each other because I need something as well just to be in my mind. And challenge is perfect because I'm extremely competitive. I didn't realize how competitive she was either. She, we said we were going to start yesterday. Um, and that we, yesterday we said we'd start today. And she is really, pff, man. I may have like awakened a beast or something, but anyway, she's going to lose. I know she's going to see this, but it doesn't matter. You're going to lose. So um, then people will, will see because one, she has to make a video of her doing what I'm making her do after I beat her. So um, that's going to be a nice little push there. And, you know, that's about it. Still moving forward with everything. I make sure you guys check out my website. Um, I mentioned already she's writing for it. I'm trying to get back into writing consistently for it, you know, three, four times a week. Um, I'm going to start writing things for the newsletter because I want to give you guys real good health information, good tips, um, links to research about uh, various things with nutrition and fitness and uh, just overall health. So just check that out, fatguyskinnywallet.com. Of course, all the links are below. Fat guy on Facebook.com, fat guy on Pinterest.com, fat guy on Twitter.com. Um, made it easy for you guys so you don't even have to click on a link just type in fat guy on pinterest.com and there you go um, I'm on Instagram I'm trying to get better with posting my uh, every meal that I have and posting screenshots of things that I do when I'm working out so um, Instagram I'm just fat guy skinny wallet if you guys use the lose it app in order to track your uh, food on lose it I'm first name fat guy last name skinny wallet so there you go um, I think that's about it if you have any questions, of course, you can put them um, below because I'm sure I forgot something. Cause I feel like I forgot something because I didn't write notes for this. But I'll keep rambling on and make this a 20-minute video about nothing if I don't just cut it right here. All right. So I'll see you guys soon. And, oh, don't forget to check out the Fat Guys Fitness Faves. I'm going to put a link to it around here so you guys can um, just go check that out and make sure you support the six people that I've suggested so far. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care. Oh. Yes, I do want to say one thing. Joyce, Joanne, I believe, excuse me, Joanne, 1968. I don't want to mess up that year. Or oh, it's 1967. Oh, it's either 1967 or 1968. Anyway, I'm going to put a link to her channel here. I want you guys to go check her out. And one thing I'm going to just say is you're not leaving YouTube, okay? We will all go down to Virginia and make you make videos, all right? No, but seriously. We all love you. We all, you know, are behind you and supporting you. And just because a couple of people, I don't want to even give them bad names, but because a couple of people want to leave silly comments, want to leave ignorant comments, want to leave mean or hurtful comments even, um, that you should not let that outweigh the amount of support and love that you get from YouTube. You know, if you have to moderate your comments, do that. But, uh, you know, just really go. And if they're those negative comments calling you names and call, and saying what you should and shouldn't do, then you know what? Just click delete, delete it from your mind, delete it from YouTube, and then move on. All right? Don't leave YouTube, though, because you're a great support to a lot of us. And, you know, we're really going to try to be an even better support to you. All right. Now I think I'm done. Talk to you guys later.